Hi everyone, it's Evangeline here at eTrailer and today we have the Kuat MV 2.0 platform rack and we're going to take a look at how it fits our 2023 GMC Sierra 1500. The Kuat MV is a super popular bike rack because it fits pretty much any bike of different shapes, sizes and weights. So it has a 60 pound weight capacity for your heavy electric bikes and zero frame contact. So the first feature we'll take a look at is a tilt away feature. You pull the lever, you drop it down to a tilt, and now you can lower the tailgate. Unfortunately, the tilt on this is not enough to fully lower the tailgate. This is gonna be as far as you can get. So good if you need to reach inside and grab something, not as good if you need to keep this down for an extended period of time. Alternative to that is you are going to have to take the bikes off to get full access to your truck bed. Now, if that's still okay for you, because most bike racks will have that um, downside, then to bring it back up into position, just lifts up on the rack, snaps into place, and now you can drive. So what types of bikes can this rack carry? Well, I did mention a 60 pound weight capacity for those heavy bikes and also the zero frame contact. So zero frame contact is because this is a front wheel mount. So all you need to do is tighten down the strap, tighten down that front wheel mount, and you do not need any adapters. Good for things like step through bikes, children's bikes, or even those women's frames that have an awkward shape. At the end of the trays, you also have an integrated cable lock, which you can use to secure your bikes and lock them into place. But to take the bikes off, we're gonna start at the wheel strap. You press this lever in, lift up on the strap, and I like to fold it out to this side to get it out of the way of the spokes. Coming up to the front, hold your bike with one hand as you press on the front hook with the other hand, push it out of the way. And from then, you can then grab your bike and you're ready to hit the trails. So notice how our strap goes back into the receiver and ratchets down. This can actually slide back and forth on the tray for a maximum wheelbase of 50 inches. And for your tire width too, notice on the front cradle how we have the different grooves. So for your small road bike tires, all the way up to your five inch fat bike tires, this can accommodate them. So this is gonna add some length to the back of your truck. If you have a small garage, you already know you're kind of limited on space. So measure from your rear bumper to the end of the rack, this sits at 34 and a half inches of added length. Now for ground clearance, that's gonna be measured from the shank to the ground, and that's 16 and a half. And notice how you have much more clearance at the end of the rack to the ground, 26 and a half. So you have the shank rise. So if you're going up steep inclines like driveways or hills, you've got a lot more clearance there. The downside to that though is if you're carrying 60 pound bikes, you're lifting them a little bit higher. Now, what if you're not planning on going out for a ride just yet, but you also don't wanna take your bikes out or your bike rack off? Well, lift that lever you lifted earlier to tilt away, but this time lift up on the rack and we are now in the compact position. This takes up less space, measuring from the bumper to the end of the rack, that's only 17 inches of length added. This is how I usually see the Kuat NV when it's on the highway. People like to just leave it on their cars because of, well, how it looks. This is actually the gray version with the orange accents. You can get this in a metallic black with silver accents. And if you leave this on your truck, you can use this as a bike repair stand as well. Bring this out, put your bike on. You can do work to your bike and you have a stable workstation. With it folded up though, you will not be able to lower your tailgate completely. You're gonna have to completely lower the bike rack down to get access to the truck bed and bring it right back up. It's actually very quick and easy to do. Movements are very smooth. So you get pretty much everything with this rack. This can carry bikes of different shapes and sizes and different weights too. You have keys, this fits into your two inch hitch. You have a key or a tool free install. The downsides to how it works with this truck really is that it doesn't tilt down far enough to completely lower the tailgate. You are gonna have to take your bikes off, but most bike racks will have that downside. Also, with it folded up, you can't lower your tailgate and your license plate is kind of covered, but 
<laughs> if you have a truck and you're towing things, you already know that's gonna be a thing. So hopefully this video helped you out with seeing if this is the right fit for you. If you want something with more weight capacity, maybe check out something like the Yakima Stage 2 bike rack instead. Similar design, but a little heftier and beefier. This is gonna be smooth, streamlined, and honestly, it looks great on your truck. That right there was a look at the Kuat NV 2.0 two bike platform rack on a 2023 GMC Sierra 1500. We're gonna take it out here on the test course. First thing we're gonna do is hit the bumps. We're just gonna see what it's like if we did hit some speed bumps. I'm watching the bike, watching how it holds on the tires. It looks like it moves just a little bit, not too much. This is mostly standard with other bike racks, so nothing to worry about. The bike doesn't look like it's going anywhere. Now we're gonna go a little bit faster in the parking lot. I'm gonna take some aggressive turns and see how it handles there. Looks like it's fine. I see a little movement again, but again, the bike's not going anywhere, so I don't have to worry about it. 